everybody, Bonnie here. I hope you guys are doing well. Thank you for coming to see what I've been up to, which has been making some big ammy groomies out of blanket yarn. This little guy is so cute. It is a free pattern. I'm not gonna attempt to say the name. So there's the name right there. This, uh, I found this pattern, I was searching on YouTube for a puppy pattern. I mean, there are tons of puppy patterns. And I found the video, but this pattern is in the blog, which is free. So the video, which I will link below, it just shows you the puppy. And it, it just, it just kind of, it's like a really short video that just kind of goes around and shows the puppy. And then there's a link for the actual pattern. So I will put that down below for you guys. But look at this. <laughs> it's just so cute. I'm trying to keep it back so that the yarn, you know, doesn't go crazy since it is a lighter color. This is beach foam in Bernat blankets. I'm trying to be more responsible now in knowing what kind of yarn I'm using, like the, the color and everything. So I'm saving the ball bands. I wish I would have thought of this years ago, but anyways, I'm saving the ball bands. This is what I made the puppy out of Bernat blanket. And then I'm attaching a piece of the yarn to it so I can see the color. Um, like I said, this is beach foam. This is the 10.5 ounce ball the big 300 gram one and that's how much i have left after making the puppy the safety eyes are probably about a 28 to 30 safety eye and then the safety nose i'm guessing like maybe a 34 safety nose i um nick ordered the safety eyes and stuff for me on on um amazon and i'm not sure which exact ones he ordered um or what the sizes are but approximate this pattern is, it, it works up really well. The legs and the arms, you just crochet them right into the body. And then, so all you have to sew on are the head and the ears, and that's it. The tail, you attach the yarn and then you make the tail. So you don't even have to sew the tail on. Isn't that cute? It's so, it's just, it's so cuddly. And the face shaping, there's a little bit of face shaping you do after you've made the head, but it's very simple. The pattern is really good. And then the muzzle is attached. A lot of the puppy patterns I was seeing, there were a ton of pieces and then the muzzle was separate. So you had to sew it to the face and then, I don't know, it just didn't look right to me. But this pattern, you just crochet the muzzle as you're crocheting. And oh my goodness, the ears are not stuffed. You just fold them over. I mean, I guess you could stuff them, but this is so cute that I made a couple more. I'm a cat person, but the reason I was making puppies is because a dear friend of mine had, had commissioned me to make her a puppy for her nephew. So she needed one that was for a little boy though, and it wasn't so easily to get dirty like the one I just showed you in Beach Foam. So I I ordered, I had ordered the yarn um, off of eBay because I couldn't find any in the stores. But this is just as cute, oh my goodness. This guy is made out of Bernat Blanket in taupe, and this is the 10.5 ounce 300 um, gram ball. The same, this is the same size as the first one that I made in beach foam, but this is taupe, and it takes almost the whole skein of yarn. I had this much left size-wise. This guy is a little bit bigger. It's just that the yarn is bigger than the beach foam. I think I'm gonna use a little bit bigger safety eye also, and I do hot glue those in, like I put the safety eye back on and then I hot glue that in and I hot glue it to the inside of the head. And the same thing with the nose, it's a safety nose. These puppies are not going anywhere. And I even take a toothpick and if I can pry my fingers, I take a toothpick with a little bit of hot glue on the end of it and I put it underneath um, the safety eye onto the yarn and I just squish it in. So this, this guy is solid, so, so soft. There's his little tail. Look at that little tail, it's so cute. Just curves right up. Um, yeah, so I don't know, I'm uh, obsessed with puppies now. It just, it kind of feels like um, like a doll. And that's what it reminds me of, like when you hold it like this, like you hold it underneath. Oh, it's just oh, so cuddly. I can totally see a little kid just grabbing the arm. These guys, they're in there too, cause they're crocheted in. It's not sewn, it's crocheted right in there, so. Then I made another one. While I was waiting for the brown yarn to come in the mail, I used what I had and I made this one. This is very, very, very soft. It's a different type of yarn. 
and I will show you guys what that yarn is. The body is Sweet Snuggles Light in Ice Green, my little system that I just came up with. There it is. Uh, I didn't have any more of this left. I had made a cat out of the ice cream, so I had already broken into the skein. And so the reason that ears are pink is because I had to get into this. This is Carmine Rose in Sweet Snuggles Light. And then with the ice green in Sweet Snuggles Light, it's really, really soft. Because of the yarn, it's a little bit smaller than the than the blanket, the blanket yarn. Let me see what size yarn it is. So the blanket yarn for the brown dog is a size nine, super bulky, and this is a size six. So obviously that's why it came down, or it's down a size. And the hook sizes that I used for all of them, I used an eight millimeter hook for all three of the puppies. I might put this one in my eBay shop because, I don't know, my Etsy needs some help, it's really, it's not that great. I'm working on that though, but um, I've seen people sell amigurumis on eBay and I have really been into eBay lately. So I'm gonna put this guy in, in there and see what happens. I always have all of my stuff linked down below too. So if you guys wanna shop that, you are more than welcome. But look, the tail, it's so cute. So I did give this one a little bit with some black yarn of a, a little face there. He just needed it. It just, you know, sometimes when you make something, it just needs it. And um, I didn't put a mouth on the other ones because they're just adorable the way they are. And when I was like thinking about it, it just, it didn't look right. So I have some puppies that I made and I'm really excited about them. I can totally see myself making more puppies. Uh, I do have a chicken to show you and I finished Sage's scrap shawl. So I will show you guys the chicken and the shawl in the next video. I hope you guys are all doing well and I will be seeing you soon. Bye everybody.